Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another iOS 14 video. So the new iOS 14 packs a ton of new features and changes. A lot of features are known, but there are a lot of them that are hidden within iOS 14 as with every other iOS update. So in this video, I will show you guys more than 20 new secret features that you will be able to find on iOS 14. Starting things off with mentions in iMessage. You probably have heard about this feature, but what you do, how can you mention someone on a message? So here's how you do it. You go to send a message and you type the name of one of your contacts. So once you have typed that name, you haven't actually mentioned that contact. It will just gray out that text as you can see right here. Now what you need to do at this point is tap on that text and now a pop-up will show one of your contacts that has that name. Now when tapping on that contact, you will select it and you can see now it will turn blue. That means that you have now mentioned that contact in this conversation. On iOS 14, Apple has added a new feature that allows it to easily go back on apps. So here on the settings app, I'm on the automatic updates section and I can tap and hold the back button and now it will give me options here to go back to any other level that I want. I don't have to go back to software update, from here, I can go straight to the settings just like that. Now, probably you have heard about this feature on the settings app, but it also works on other apps as well. And where it's most useful is on Safari. So you're browsing web pages and you can do that on Safari. So here I'm on the Apple website. I can tap hold here and it will show me the other levels of this web page that I have browsed. And I can just tap there and go directly to that page where I want to go. I don't have to tap the back button like three or four times. The same can be done for going forwards, tap and hold there. You can go ahead and move forward between like three or four pages without having to tap each time to go forward or backwards. On iOS 14, within the voice recording app, you will find a very useful feature. When you go to one of your recordings, you will notice that you will right there have a new button. So you go ahead and tap on the edit recording button. You will notice this button right here. Now, when you tap this, what this will do is automatically remove the noise from the background of your voice recording. On the newer devices, there is an option on the camera app that allows us to quickly take a video simply by tapping and holding the volume down button. As you can see, it will start recording and it's recording for as long as you hold the button. Once you release it, it's gone, it will stop recording and that video will be saved. Now with iOS 14, you will have this feature on all the devices as well. So if you have an older device and have iOS 14 installed, try it out whenever you need to quickly take a video press and hold the volume down button and you're good to go. And now we have another option for quickly taking burst pictures. So on iOS 14, you wanna take burst photos, tap and hold the volume up button. And as you can see right now, it's taking burst photos and you will have to enable this. So go to settings, go to the camera settings and you will have here use volume up for burst. If you enable this, then you can use the volume up button to quickly take burst pictures. The new app library has a ton of hidden features. One of them is when searching apps. So if I want to search for apps here, but I don't want to type anything, I can go ahead and search by letter here. So if I'm searching for Twitter, I can tap the T right there. It will show me all the apps starting with T right here. Or I can use this as a scroll bar right here. You can see all the letters that are on the side can be used as a scroll bar to quickly scroll up and down on the app library. Now with the iOS 14 home screen widgets, you can do quite a lot. You will have a ton of different widgets, which of course perform different actions and are very, very useful. And one of them is Siri suggestions. So if you go to Siri suggestions, the first one will be the suggested apps. Right here will have eight apps that Siri will suggest for you, of course, based on how much you use each of these apps. But did you know that you can add multiple widgets with suggested apps on your home screen? So here on this page, I can have have two different widgets basically both of them will be with the suggested apps and as you can see right now they are updated and they don't show the same apps so you can have like two or three and they will show all different apps so you can have basically like right here a page on the home screen a dynamic page with apps that will change based on how much you use them when marking up something on iOS 14, now you will have shape recognition. Apple did show this feature, but they showed it on iPadOS. A lot of people probably don't know that you can use that 
on the iPhone as well. So let's just go ahead and pick a color right here. So you can see if I want to mark up something, I want to add a circle here, just make the circle, hold here, and you can see it will turn it into a shape. I want to draw like an arrow right here, just hold and everything you can see will basically recognize the shape and will make it how it should. This is really, really cool. Let's try to draw a star here. Just tap and hold as you can see, it will turn that really, really bad drawing into something looking really good. You probably know that on iOS, you have the ability to hide purchased apps from your account. Now on iOS 14, you will be able to see the apps that you have hidden from your account. So you go to your settings, you go at the top at your profile and you go to media and purchases. Right here, you will see your account settings and down here, you will see download and purchases. Here will have your hidden purchases. If you go here, you will have all the apps that in the past you have purchased, but then have removed from your history of purchases. All of them can be found right here. And of course, you will have the chance to also download them directly from here. On iOS 14, it is very easy to quickly move between pages on the home screen. You just swipe alongside the dots here, the page dots, and, and it's easy as that. You can see you can quickly move between all the pages on your home screen, which is really, really cool. If you have a ton of pages, you can move really quickly. Now you can do the same on the weather app. If you go to your cities, you will have the dots here and you can use these dots to quickly move between cities that you have added to the weather app. On your albums, you probably have a ton of photos. When you're looking for something, it's sometimes very, very hard to find. But with iOS 14, you will have filters. So right here on this album, what if I just wanna show the pictures that I have favorited and that are on this album? Go to filter right here, favorites, and as you can see right now, it will remove all the other photos and will show me just the favorited photos. And here I have now the filters. I can go ahead and choose the edited. And of course, it will show me only the pictures that are edited and are on this album. Really, really cool. You can go ahead and quickly find any picture you want. And of course, with iOS 14, you swipe up on any picture and you will be able to add a caption to that picture. So as easy as that, add any caption you want to any picture. And when sharing the picture, you will have here options. If you tap on options, now you will have the ability to disable captions. So when you send the picture to someone, it won't contain the caption that you have added to that picture. On the home screen of your iOS 14 device, it is very easy to go to the edit mode. Anywhere on the home screen, on any blank space, all you have to do is just tap and hold, and in a second, you will be on the edit mode. Now, you want to go out of the edit mode, just tap anywhere on a blank space so you don't have to reach for the dumb button. Just as easy as that, tap anywhere, and you're in and out of the edit mode. Now, if you're using picture-in-picture -picture on your iPhone on iOS 14, you gotta know that there is a really easy way to make it smaller or bigger. Just double tap on it and as you can see, it will change the size. Of course, you can do that with your fingers by swiping like this, pinching in and out, but the easiest way is by double tapping. You can also just move it around and you can hide it anywhere you want. So just go ahead, slide it like this. When you're watching something else, you wanna hide that, but you don't wanna completely remove it. Just swipe it like this. If you're using the shortcut widget on iOS 14, then you will have the ability to change which shortcuts display here on the widget. You 3D touch on the widget, tap on edit widget, tap on folder right here, and you choose whichever folder you want to see here. Now, basically on the new app, on the new shortcuts app on iOS 14, you have now the ability to create folders. So you create folders and you add your widget there and then select the folder from here. On iOS 14, now you can edit the profile picture of one of your contacts and you can set an emoji as the profile picture for that contact. This is really, really fun. You can see right there, you can set any of the emojis from the emoji keyboard as a profile picture for any of your contact. On iOS 14, Apple has introduced App Library, where you will have all of your apps and not have all of them on the home screen. There you will have them organized and very easy to find. But if you want to move an app, you 3D touch on it, tap remove app and remove it and place it on the app library. What if you want to move a folder? All you have to do is just go ahead and 3D touch on the folder and you will have the option here to also remove the folder. Now, if you tap here, remove from home screen, that folder will be basically deleted and all the apps that are on that folder will be moved to the app library. And last but not least is photo zoom. Did you know that on iOS 14, you can zoom in on photos 
much much more than on ios 13 so when you're zooming in a photo you will have the ability to actually move in quite a lot so you will notice here i don't have a device right now on ios 13 to basically compare this but you will be able to zoom in a lot more so that's basically for this video guys these are more than 20 new hidden features that you will find on your device running ios 14 i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully learned something new regarding ios 14 today Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys on the next one.